Hi, my name is Emma Jade Morrison. I'm a celebrity stylist based in New York. My clients include Emily Ratajkowski, Rosie Huntington-Whiteley, Lily Aldridge, and Martha Hunt. I started as a fashion editor at Vogue where I worked for almost six years focusing mostly on editorial and I did a little red carpet when I was there working on the Met Gala and CFDA and some of the other projects that Vogue is involved in. I realized when I was there that as much as I highly value an editorial in the moment, I was really remembering red carpet photos. The pictures that resonated with me were Oscars looks and Met Gala looks and Grammys looks and I loved watching the evolution of someone's style and how it related to their career. As a stylist, I would describe myself as a minimalist with a little bit of edge. I love twisted classics, little sneaky hints of skin, and pieces that are relevant throughout the years. Today, I'm gonna to show you three looks to wear in a weekend getaway. So let's get started. So this is the first look for your weekend getaway. This is your on-the-go travel outfit, like your Friday afternoon escaping the city. This is a set by LPA, which I really love because instead of a sweatsuit, it's Elevated Basics, which is going to be very handy as we move through the other looks because you can use this with what you wear for the rest of the weekend. It's not just strictly like being a bum in the car, eating fast food. Like you can actually wear this to a nice restaurant as well. I also layered it with a bodysuit underneath it, just in case you know there's different temperatures in the airport or on the plane or in the gas station or in the car. So it's always nice to have an option under it. I personally love wearing knit materials with open-toed shoes. I think it's a really nice contrast and we only get a couple weeks out of the year that you can do it. So I would put this with these sandals. And what I also love about a slide is that it's so easy to take off when you're in the car or if you're on the plane and your feet are getting a little bit swollen. You can also put a sock on to keep it comfy. And I just always love how it looks to have like a little bit of skin at the bottom of the sweatsuit. So when I'm traveling, I like to bring my hero bag with me on the plane. I'll usually bring a bigger tote and then I'll have my favorite purse that I can put inside of it. I'm obsessed with these Bottega bags that you can get on forward.com. And I would definitely carry this. And I love that this is a crossbody because it's so helpful in the airport or if you're running into the gas station to get a snack, just to have all your essentials, like your cell phone, your wallet, your passport, just easily available, like instead of digging through a massive tra travel bag and trying to find what's important. Let's put this crossbody. And now accessories. I think it's really fun to wear jewelry when you travel. It just like makes you feel a little bit more special. And again, like carrying my favorite bag, I like to wear my favorite jewelry. I'm very scared of it like falling out or getting lost or getting dented. So I always kind of try and wear my special pieces and think of a look that'll go with it without being ridiculous. So I would probably wear like a big pair of earrings. You can never go wrong with a hoop. I love these hoops that have tortoise on them just to pick up the colors in the sweater suit as we should call it, not a sweatsuit. Something I'm very excited about with this outfit is that you could wear both of these pieces throughout the weekend. Like the sweater could easily go with a pair of pants or a sweater, or you could tie it around your waist with a skirt and the bodysuit that's under it. Uh, I think everything that you pack should be versatile. I hate overpacking. I never want to check a bag unless I have to. So everything that I use for travel is going to go with something else. So I love a good roll sleeve and I have a little trick for it. Instead of just pushing it up because it doesn't always stay and it looks a lot nicer, what you do is you fold it midway to your elbow and kind of pull it down and then you roll it up from here to keep it. And if you want it to look a little bit more casual, you can kind of pull out the inside so it doesn't look like you styled it too much and you just pushed it up. But on something looser, it actually stays up. And for your final touch, you have to have sunglasses when you travel. If you're going for a long flight, you want it afterwards to cover any bags. It also just adds an element of glamour. So I always wear my biggest pair of sunglasses on the plane to, you know, just amp it up a little bit. So with this, I'm, we're going for the biggest pair. And that's the final look. How cool. Like so cozy, but like looking fabulous.
So this is the base for your second outfit, which I'm thinking is like a Saturday day. You're exploring the city or the town that you're visiting. Maybe you're going to lunch, maybe you're doing some shopping. So this uses the same bodysuit as your travel look. It's by Girlfriend, which is really great. And this is a really beautiful chic black skirt from Weekend Stories that has this amazing back detail that I love and is amazing with the bodysuit because you have the coverage for the draped back. So my trick for packing silk is I always roll it in my suitcase to try and avoid having to steam it because that's absolutely no fun when you're on vacation. Another thing you can do is layer it with tissue and that'll help the wrinkles a lot, but that's a little excessive for the weekend, but a trick. So now into shoes. I think when you're exploring the city, you're gonna wanna wear flats. You're not gonna walk around in heels. I think that's annoying and it's gonna ruin your vacation. So I would do it with these really cute raffia slides. And I love the combination of the color of the slides with the tie in the back of the skirt. It's just like a very subtle connection that I think pulls the look together really well. We're also gonna use the same sweater that you might have worn on the plane or in the car, just in case you get chilly. And this you can kind of, you know, just drape over your shoulders. Another fun way to do it if you don't do it like this, I tend to wear my knits, pardon me, kind of tied just as something a little bit different so you don't feel like your mom with your sweater over your shoulders. And of course, during the day, you're gonna need your sunglasses. So we're gonna use the same pair that we wore on the plane or in the car. And you have the same earrings that you wore on the way there. It's super easy. We're just kind of reusing everything to just keep your weekend wardrobe minimal and all connected. And for your bag, you're gonna use the same bag that you used on the plane. And what I love about these Bottega bags is that you have the crossbody option, but you also have this little hand strap, which kind of just gives it a bit of a more elevated edge. Here you go. And that's your final look. So this is the final look for your weekend getaway, the, your dinner outfit, late Saturday evening. We're starting with the same bodysuit that we used before from Girlfriend, just so when you get back after your day's activities, you can do a super quick change and you're not taking any time away from your trip. I love shorts for evening. I think it's like a really fun twist. It, short suits were huge on the runway for the last few seasons. And if you're going somewhere fancy and you don't necessarily want to show the elastic waistband because that can feel a little casual, a belt is a great way to hide it. So we're going to use this belt, which I like because it picks up the brown on the shoes. I'm all about just like subtle connectivity, nothing too obvious, but just so it feels cohesive in a very quiet way. And then I don't think you can go on a trip without a blazer. Like you could have worn the blazer with any of the other looks that we did. And so we're going to do a little short suit for evening and throw this on top which is a great oversized blazer from L'Academy. And I always like a little pop of the collar on the blazer just to frame your face. And then of course, for dinner, you have to wear some jewelry. And then I think that one of the most versatile pieces of jewelry you can currently have is a chunky gold chain. It goes with quite literally everything in my opinion. I personally love the freedom of not bringing a bag to dinner. It feels very casual and cool and like you're already prepared. So I love these shorts from LPA because they have pockets in them. So you can throw your mask in there, your credit card, your ID, and just roll up to dinner like you don't need anything in the world but yourself. So this is your final look for your weekend getaway. So that was three looks you can wear on your weekend getaway. You can shop all of them on revolve.com and comment below and tell us what your favorite is. Don't forget to subscribe to Revolve's YouTube channel for more videos like this. Bye!